Okay, guys, I'm showing you what I'm cooking for dinner. I got this little cheese pastas, frozen. And we have grape tomatoes, some zucchini, onions, got garlic, got some chicken broth, about a couple tablespoons, three, I think. Got a pinch of uh, red peppers, and about a tablespoon and a half of basil, salt and pepper. So you saute, pretty much you salt this in layers, saute it, onions, zucchini, put your garlic in there. Then when you put your tomatoes in there, the liquid from your tomatoes and the this uh, broth will make it like a little juice on there. <laughs> then you add your cheese pasta after you cooked it. Toss it all together, throw some parmesan on the top of it. It's our vegetarian kind of meal. Not vegetarian because it's cheese. Got cheese inside of there, but there's really no meat. All right, I'll show you when it gets done. Here's the final results, all sauteed together. I melted my parmesan on top. So I just got done watering my plants. As you see, I'm just sweating like crazy. Five minutes. Oh, look at this hair. I have to try to fix it. Oh, excuse me. When Bill gets up, probably about 10.30 or so, we're going to head out. I know I have to go to Walmart. I mean, it's hot. You don't really want to go out. you got to still, you know, take care of your household replenish stuff that you run out of and then when I come home like I'm doing now I just sit in front of a pan till I cool down all right I look a little better this hair is still it's grown so much since I got a cut you know <laughs> anyway by the time I run around to the store it'll be crazy but all right guys Here's what I'm running around in today. This is my Walmart shorts that I hauled not too long ago. This little tank top, I think I got these at Walmart maybe a year or so ago. They were marked down probably to a couple dollars a top. I ended up getting like, I think three. A white, a kind of a pink fuchsia, and this yellow. So, I'm all about cheap. <laughs> I got my animal print slides on. Those are from Walmart. And I'm kind of breaking them in because they did have some like little picky places I had to file underneath. You know, because they're just from a rubber mold. Of course, I got my little animal print earrings on again. But yeah, we're fixing to... You know, probably go out at least to Walmart. I guess at 108 today. I think it's like 95 right now. And you can feel it. Because that, that air outside is hot. Alright, I'm standing out here waiting for my sister. She's coming to pick me up. We're going to go to um, Penny's. I want to go to Dollar Tree. Pick up some Halloween tool. And it's 94 right now, but the air is still, the air feels really warm. <laughs> I'm already sweating. But I came out here standing in the shade waiting for her to come. We're going to just do a little errands. i got to go pick up a few basics in the grocery department. So I have to do that today too. I do have some leftover uh, steak my son made yesterday. He made it sirloin. And so I really don't have to cook, just made, make some sides to go with go with it. I got my sister's shirt on. Oh, can't see it, maybe. <laughs> this says, I'm the middle sister. <laughs> my sister, she got us all sister shirts when I went home a couple years ago. Whew. Well, I tell you, good thing I got all this crazy hair. <laughs> 
Well, I'm heading out to the grocery store. Got back from Penny's with my sisters. I just got to pick up some stuff. A little basic stuff. It's 99 out, but if you see all those clouds out there, that makes it humid. And it's hard to tolerate 100 degrees. It's supposed to get up, I think, to 107 today, 105. I don't know. I had a t-shirt on earlier. Now I got my little tank top on because the less clothes, the cooler you are. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back from the grocery store. I spent about 60 bucks. You know, I got quite a bit of stuff. Got my little receipt here. I got two bags of baby potatoes. They're probably a pound each little bag. I got some red ones and the golden ones. They were on sale. I try to buy, shop everything on sale. I got a small cabbage, a bell pepper, a bag of uh, shelled peanuts, because I like those. <laughs> Always have got to have a little bit of your nuts daily. They had blackberries on sale, so I got two little containers. They're small containers, but I like to have either blueberries or blackberries in the morning with my breakfast, so I got the, those. Those were on sale. I got me some turkey bacon. I got hot dog buns, hamburger buns, and some tortillas. Because I have brats and I've got some hamburgers I can make patties. Plus, the guys like using the hamburger buns to make sandwiches more than just sliced bread. Let's see what else did I get. Oh, they had a cantaloupe. I got a cantaloupe for 99 cents. They had that on sale. Of course, I had to get some ice cream. You know, that's our little treat at night. I got me some bagels for in the morning. I've been trying to eat one like maybe every other day instead of every day. But I love a bagel with uh, coffee, some turkey bacon, and my berries. Ugh. To me, that's just the best little breakfast. Let's see, oh, I got a free dozen of eggs, so I bought a dozen of eggs. So I got 24 dozen, 24 eggs for the price of one. Had to get my coffee creamer and milk. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I got some of this little sparkling ice. To me, this is the greatest little thing to make a cocktail with. So I'm going to make me a rum cocktail tonight. I got a pineapple coconut sparkling ice. And usually what I do is I put a little rum and then I'll put maybe some kind of juice I got, you know, and I'll put some of that in there, but I'll put this uh, sparkling ice because it's uh, carbonated, so it bubbles, and that just makes the best little cocktail. Look at this time, you know, everybody's talking about inflation. What I say about that, I have, I've always seen prices go up, always, always, always. I buy just about everything I buy is on sale. If it's not on sale, then we don't need it. But all in all, I think, uh, you know, that's how you got to shop. Either use coupons, but I don't buy it unless it's on sale. If it's not on sale, I'm like, nah, maybe, you know, I'll kind of search around. I don't have to get a half a gallon of ice cream. I could get sandwich bars or, you know, the local, local brand. If you have to cut coupons, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with cutting coupons. You gotta, when I go shopping, I always gotta compare. Like, so I, I bought those potatoes, those little round potatoes, baby potatoes. They were two for seven dollars. I said, you know, I'm looking at it, it said three dollars and fifty cents for a pound. Now, for three of us, I could cook a half a pound at a time. So I'm gonna get two meals out of that potatoes, depending on what, what I cook with it. Because if I cook something else with it, I may get three meals out of it. Like if I do kielbasa with some potatoes and peppers and stuff. You know, I could not use, I could use half of a half. You know, for three fifty, that's what I look at. Three fifty, I could get two meals. So what is that? A dollar seventy-five a meal. And that's what you got to kind of look at when you're buying the stuff. There's always sales. There's always coupons. I don't think the cost of living will ever catch up to what we make hourly. 
So there's that. So I also I was going to tell you what I was going to make for dinner because yesterday my son, he cooked a sirloin steak. We got leftovers. And I, I found this recipe. I got all the ingredients for Mongolia beef and broccoli. And it's over ramen, ramen noodles. And I have everything. It sounds really good. But I do have three potatoes that I need to probably cook before, you know. I don't I don't like my food to go bad where I got, I'm buying it and then I'm throwing it away. So I'm thinking that maybe I should just, oh my God, this hair. You can tell how thin my hair is up here. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe I should cook my steak and potatoes. Anyway, it's going to be a quick meal, and whatever I do, I'll kind of let you know. Okay, I'm prepping my stuff, so I cut up my beef, and I slice it like this because I don't want to cook it, overcook it. I'm going to cook my noodles. I got some green onions. I had celery. Got some garlic. Got some ginger and red pepper flakes. That is some cooked onions. I'm going to add that. I had soy sauce. I'm going to put a little cornstarch in my sprinkle on here so it'll give it a little sauce. And I have some brown sugar. So pretty much you cook your noodles, heat up your meat with the cornstarch on it, kind of saute it a little bit. Then you cook your garlic and ginger and add soy sauce. Uh, brown sugar, I got some broth, a uh, fourth of a cup of, or half a cup of broth. And you put all that in there, in the skillet, and you let it thicken. Then you can add uh, your broccoli, your onion, your back to your steak, put your steak back in there. So I'll show you what it looks like when it gets done. But that's it. Okay, here's my dish in the skillet. Got my noodles, threw some onions and celery on it. And yeah, we'll have a little bowl. Oh, you know what? I got some little seeds I could throw on the top. I like this bagel everything. I'm gonna throw a little bit. There you go. Excellent day. I'm just getting up and about it's 20 to 9. I just got my breakfast fixed. I am going to go get my toenails done, a pedicure today. So they're in dire need. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to eat my breakfast, get myself decent for outside, <laughs> put a little face on. Do this hair. Go get my toes done. Here's my breakfast. I got a onion bagel. I got my blackberries. I got 99 cents for a little container. And two turkey bacon with some coffee. So. Okay, guys. I'm off. They called me and asked me if I could come in at 10.30 instead of 11, and I'm ready. It's just down the street here, about two, sec two or three seconds, probably a minute. But it's 94 right now. It's going to be 110. As you see, the skies are cloudless. <laughs> All right. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. Bye. So here I am, waiting my turn. And I got this, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the color I brought from home. Kind of a brown. And I'm going to use. Alright. 
Let them dry. Hey guys, it's me, waiting for my sister. Seems like that's always what I'm doing, waiting for my sister to pick me up. We're going to go have breakfast. She texted me last night, asked me if I wanted to go have breakfast. I said, sure. I think we may go uh, to Walmart. I know she wanted to pick up some of the pajamas I had picked up. So we may do that. And we'll just see. It's 96 out right now at uh, 5 to 10 in the morning. And it's supposed to be 106 today. So a lot colder than it has been. But the air is still very warm from all the hot days we did have. <laughs> so I just have my Aries tank top on that my son designed for me and some bike shorts. Hey guys, so yesterday, was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday. Me and my sister went antiquing. I always forget to turn the camera on. But I wanted to show you. I got these little uh, they're so cute. Little uh, salt and pepper shakers. Okay, they were uh, $10 for the set. My theme in my dining room is going to be ghosts. So see, I thought that was so cute. For, and I thought it was good for $10. Then, my brother's birthday is coming up. And I got him salt pepper shakers. It's Captain Pepper and Old Salty. <laughs> oh, I thought they were so cute because he lives by himself and... So, I thought those would be good for him. And then I found a little uh, thing. It's got some pumpkins. It's got a little sign. I think it says pumpkin patch. You can see it in there. <laughs> Five little pumpkin buttons. So, I can do that with my crafts. Whew. I'm going to run to... Uh, do an errand. I gotta run to Walmart. Grandkids' birthdays are coming up, and let me pull you a little closer here. So I have grandson's birthday, my brother's birthday. A few weeks after that is my granddaughter's birthday. Before my granddaughter's birthday, like three days before that, is my sister's birthday. <laughs> so I have a lot of uh, August, September birthdays coming up. Now the gifts for my brother and my sister. I'm just going to, when I go up to Reno, I'll just take them up there with me. I'm going to go to Walmart and get a gift card. I thought it would just be easier to send them gift cards. So I got to get that done today and get the cards in the mail. You know, checks in the mail. <laughs> so today I'll be, I, I need to back in my bedroom and start looking at what I'm going to take on my trip. But I think for now, I'm going to end this vlog. I always apologize that I don't have a lot going on, but that's my life. I'm retired, and that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> Nothing exciting, just everyday life. So, like I said, I think I'll just end this vlog here. I appreciate all you guys watching my vlogs, supporting me. I shall see you next time. See you later, alligator. Bye.